What's up everybody? It's your girl Nicole Briscoe, AKA the Mobile Home Mommy. Today, as you can see, I have this beautiful gym behind me. Listen y'all, every Monday night we do What's the Scenario, right? Where you all join me live on Facebook, Instagram, at Mobile Home Mommy, 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, and we talk about what? What would you do in these scenarios? So I figured I would take y'all to a real life scenario today. So come follow me so I can tell you about this property. Come on in, don't be scared. Don't be scared. So listen, y'all, this is a property. A owner reached out to me, told me, listen, I have taken possession of the land. I have this mobile home. I need to get rid of it. So I came out, looked at the property, and I'm like, okay, we got a winner here. The pain point is he needs a mobile home move so that he can build. And y'all, I wanna show you what I do in situations like this. Now please be advised, when I come to a house full of stuff, I'm always looking for me a weapon. And today we have this nice iron golf club because I don't know if Tom and Jerry is around the corner or if it's a, 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 a python around the corner. So I wanna have something to try to protect myself. Uh, so as you can see y'all, we have a cascade of stuff in the living room. We have a whole bunch of stuff in the kitchen and even more stuff back in the bedrooms. I also like to use a stick or something to make sure that I'm not walking to in, into any soft spots, y'all. Into any soft spots, okay? Now, as you can see, the, the floors and the walls throughout this entire property is pretty much okay. Now, I can't assess what is back here on where the stuff is covered it but this is this is the way i would handle this so the first thing that we could do you all listen to the pain points his pain point is i have this mobile home and i definitely need it moved okay no problem it's filled with stuff the first thing i'm gonna ask him is can you have the stuff out of here if he says yes i can have it out by this date then we're good to go if he says well, I have, I don't have anybody to help me take the stuff out, but I have some money. Then I'll offer services to them. Okay. I have a handyman team that can remove the stuff. What is your budget? And I can attempt to fit within that budget, right? I want to give my seller as many options as possible to help them with their pain points. And I'm still going to make money as well, right? So in this situation, if he wanted to get the stuff removed, of course I let him tell me his budget, but I also take it to my handyman, let my handyman do a walkthrough and do a comparison. Because in this deal, if I was getting the stuff removed, I'm the contractor, my handyman is a subcontractor. So I'm gonna make a percentage or a fee based off of me contracting this work out to him. That is the first step. Again, my goal for this mobile home is gonna be to wholesale it. It's not a bad property. Come take a come take a walk with me. Don't be scared now. So back here is a little maze because I've already found some soft spots in this floor. Soft spots over here, but we're solid here. We're solid here. We're solid here. I know this house looks ugly. I know it looks ugly. When you look into the bathroom, you see trash. When you come back into this bedroom, you see even more trash. But that's all it is, guys, it's trash. So with that being said, once I get the trash removed, once I get the trash removed, I can see with this mobile home, there's a lot of cosmetic work that needs to be done. As far as painting, replace, replacing the carpet, and um, there is a hole in the roof that we're gonna get um, fixed as well. But overall, this is a house in good condition. It's in the late 90s. And the hot commodity right now, y'all, is a three bedroom, two bath. I'm gonna show y'all some more clips of the house. So the problem, the pain point with this person is mobile home on the property, they need it moved. Too much for them to get it removed because they know the cost of moving. The seller reached out to him, 
told him about the junk in the house. He gave me a date and said, hey, I can have it removed by this date. If he doesn't, I am going to ask him for some type of money towards getting the home cleaned out, right? Again, if I'm helping you with your pain point, I need you to help me as well. Not all sellers will be able to do that, but some do have the budget to do that. That being said, once I get said home cleaned off, next step is I'm going to, my exit strategy is to wholesale the property. You could fix and flip this property, but keep in mind when you want to fix and flip something, remember all costs matter. Take everything into consideration. So example, for this home, you will need to move it. The move cost, depending on your state, I'm in the state of North Carolina. Right now for a single Y is anywhere between four to $7,000, depending on where it's getting moved. Take in mind that we have to do plumbing once it gets to said place, electrical once it gets to said place. Plumbing right now is running me about $1,300. My electrical is running about $900. You also have to get permits. You have to get permits. Wherever city, whatever state you're in, you have to get permits when you're moving a mobile home. Permits have to be um, allotted by the tax office for your city or county. You contact them, you get a permit when you have to move it on the road. Sometimes the mover will handle that piece for you. Sometimes you have to get it on your own. And then whatever plot you're taking it to, oops, excuse my cousin Wasp, whatever plot you're taking it to, you're gonna need said permits for that piece of land because they wanna make sure that it is permitted for a mobile home, even if it's going inside of a mobile home park. Well, why would I need a permit even if it's going inside of a mobile home park? Because what if it was a two bedroom there and you're trying to tote in a three bedroom or a four bedroom? They need to make sure that the septic is going to be able to sustain the property that you're bringing in. Right. Ah, buddy, did you know that? So you have to make sure that you're covered on all your expenses. Permits can cost around $200. I told you the plumbing for cost for plumbing, electrical to moving. Don't forget, you're going to need front door steps, back door steps. If you look at these steps out here, majority of the time you're going to need um steps with the actual railing on both sides right you're gonna need steps with a railing on both sides to pass code once you get those permits you go in there and fix the property they come out and do different types of inspections now i have moved mobile homes in counties where they say hey you have to get a permit before you pull the property on that lot they come, they inspect the lot, they look to make sure the ground is level, the grass is cut, the electrical um, and the electric pole is there, and the water, I ain't no plumber y'all, so don't come for me in the comments. But they make sure the little, the water pipe is sticking out the ground. The sewer line, y'all get what I'm trying to say, okay? And then I've been in counties that's like, hey, don't call me until the mobile home is actually moved and everything is set up. So make sure you check with your city and county requirements for what it takes to move a mobile home into a lot. Promise you, I'm in North Carolina. One county that I'm in is like, before you move it in on that grass, we want to do a permit inspection. They come out and they inspect every single thing. I'm working in another county, 25 minutes up the street. I called them for an inspection. They said, why did you call me? There's no house here. I'm like, well, in this county, he said, well, we're not that county. You don't call us until the mobile home is completely set up. Your electrical, your plumbing is done. Everything is set up. Then you call us. So please, please, please check your requirements. Okay. Y'all drop your comments down below. Let me know what other questions you may have about this property uh, exit strategy you may present. And I'll see y'all in the next video. Peace.